Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here. And in today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a Netflix movie review on this Adam Sandler movie from 2017, The Meyerowitz Stories. So, back at back at the end of November of 2023 uh, on Ben Stiller's birthday, I, I I got my chance to watch to stream this movie on Netflix for the first time uh, on on November 30th, which was, you know, Ben Stiller's birthday cuz Ben Stiller's on, Ben Stiller's in the film, obviously. So, in this movie, the Meyerowitz stories follows a, 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 a strange siblings that who come together to celebrate their father and his work as an artist. Harold Meyerowitz to children would reunite in New York, and you know that's pretty much you know the basic the basic story the basic plot or basic story on what the Meyerowitz story is about. And yeah, and this and you know we got ourselves like a like a, a dramedy like a, as in comedy drama with Adam Sandler, so. I first heard of this movie back in like back in like in like 2017 when I first knew knew about this film, and and then years later in 20 in November of 2023 on Ben Stiller's birthday, I I got my ch I, I I recently got I recently got got my chance to stream to stream and watch this movie on Netflix at the end of November of 2023, and I gotta say this was actually one of one of Adam Sandler's best this was actually Adam Sandler's best films he's ever been in. And also one one of his one of his more serious roles that he's ever been in as well. And I gotta say, and I gotta say, this is actually like this is actually like one of those one of those times where Adam Sandler can can sometimes be a serious actor, like, like in, in terms of like in terms of like of like, of like not being like 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 a like a like a slapstick or that wacky stick comedy type of thing. Because the Meyerowitz stories is actually more more like a drama film, like a dramedy film, and. And I gotta say, the story itself is actually well written too, because this actually comes to us from from the writer and director Noah Bombach. Like Noah Bombach, like he recently got married to Greta Gerwig, and he like Noah Noah Bombach has worked on a bunch of other stuff. Like he worked on a lot of stuff, even like even like like before like even like years before he wrote and directed this film. I gotta say, his screenplay and direction was actually well written. Like his his screenplay was well written. Even his direct his directing is also is also well done too. And yeah, it's like, and and this is and this is actually one of one of my and this is actually one of one of one of my favorite Adam Sandler serious movies besides like besides Punch Drunk Love and Uncut Gems, and yeah, and yeah, and and the acting performances, the performances in this movie were well done too. Like like Adam Sandler is still great in the film. Ben Stiller was also good in the film too, and Dustin Hoffman and Emma Thompson. Yeah, because everyone everyone did did a good job in the film. And plus, I and before filming this review, I actually looked at the cast on Wikipedia, and that there's actually this 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 type of guy named named Jared Sandler who who actually has a cameo appearance at some point in the film where he plays like a college student. Because I think Jared Sandler, I think, is probably related to Adam Sandler, probably. But yeah, so. But yeah, I, I gotta say, like everything about this movie is, is just is just like a, a like one of one of the best Netflix films of 2017. And also, yeah, can't forget about Randy Randy Newman's music score. Randy Newman actually actually did the music score to this film, and I gotta say, his music score was was actually very good too. Like I gotta say, because I really do love Randy Newman. I think he's like a, a talented singer and composer and conductor of music. And yeah, and, and and this was actually the same year Randy Newman came back to do the music to Cars Three. And yeah, yeah, because Randy Newman's music score was good in the film and. And, and and that's and that's the thing and that and that's and that's the part where, where, I, where I, that's the part in 2017 when I first heard about this movie. I actually first heard about this movie back in 2017, at, like yeah, like like months after I saw Cars three, and I saw Randy Newman did the music to this film, and and yeah, it's like everything about this movie is just like like is just you know just a well done, well made Adam Sandler serious drama comedy dramedy film. Yeah, that's almost like the best way I would describe this film, and. And yeah, and, and of course, like Happy Madison doesn't have any involvement with this film, but I gotta say, this movie kind of does feel like something out of a, something out of like the two Madison Twenty Three films. It kind of it kind of almost feels like a, feels like another one of those Madison Twenty Three films, like you know, like two, like you know, Madison Twenty Three that that released two films, like, like I mentioned before in my other Sandler reviews and you know Happy Madison reviews, and. 
And I gotta say, and I gotta say, since this movie was made for Netflix, this movie kind of felt, it felt like it, it would belong on the big screen. Like, if only, if only, like, if only, like, Adam Sandler would come back to the big screen in, like, in, like, movie theaters, that would have been super cool, because it's, like, it's, like, this movie would have been super cool, super cool to see on the big screen in theaters. Like, if, if Adam Sandler were to make a comeback to, to like, move to, like, theatrical releases, but, but having... But even without Happy Madison's involvement, he's probably not, not going to go back into, like, theatrical releases anytime soon. I mean, we got Spaceman coming out this this March, but... Yeah, I think Spaceman kind of does feel like one, one of those one of those Adam Sandler Netflix releases that, that, does, that, that, that feels like it would belong on the big screen, but... Whatever. But yeah, so Ben Stiller was good in the film, just like, just like how I watched this movie on his birthday. Like, Ben Stiller. And... Yeah, so overall, the Meyerowitz stories was a, a, a fantastic, amazing movie from twenty seven from twenty seventeen, and I'm gonna give the Meyerowitz stories five out of five stars. Yep, five out of five as an S tier. So yeah, if you have Netflix and if you haven't seen this film yet, then I say I recommend giving it a watch. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on the Meyerowitz stories. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. 8 Crazy saying goodbye everybody and that's about it.